Did you know that your entire research study will be judged on how well it answers the research question? In this video series, I am going to talk about how to develop research questions for qualitative studies and talk briefly about why you probably don't need a hypothesis for qualitative research proposals. I am guessing you already know that a research purpose is critical for your study, but did you know that good research questions are actually just as important as the purpose? You will not always see a research question, separate from the purpose, in qualitative research articles. The questions take a lot of time to be developed and refined when the study is being conceptualized, yet they are often embedded in the purpose, aims, goals, or results section of articles due to limited space in journals. A lot of researchers will include only the purpose in articles because the questions are so closely related to the purpose. Even if it is not made explicit, all qualitative research has a central question and some sub-questions. In a proposal or dissertation, they need to be explicit. In general, qualitative questions are aimed at an in-depth understanding that is descriptive, explorative, or theory generating. If you are writing a research proposal, you should include both a purpose and research questions. Why? The questions help to clarify the purpose as they are reflected on and rewritten throughout the research process. I find that reflecting on the questions I really want answered when developing a research proposal helps to refine the purpose statement and choose the most congruent methodology. Stating separate research questions in qualitative inquiry allows for more opportunity to guide the approach that is congruent with the purpose. Different methods will be best suited to answer different kinds of questions. It is important to think about what questions you actually want to answer to make sure that the problem, purpose, questions, and methodology all fit well together. Richards and Morris discuss how important it is to know the type of question you want to answer before finalizing your selected methodology. I find that my drafted purpose and methodology often change when I'm working on the best question. Qualitative research questions will be focused on describing or understanding a topic in depth from the insider's perspective these questions you develop will often be used in an interview with participants. Various suggestions about how many questions to develop and how to develop them exist. How many you put in your proposal ultimately depends on your study. My advice is to limit the number of questions you are asking to a realistic number. Creswell and Poth recommend that you have a single question that is quite broad, which is called the central question. Then several sub-questions are used to direct the central question into specific areas of inquiry. Identifying these questions takes a lot of thought. Don't rush the process. In part two of this video, I'll show you exactly how to write and refine the central question. I am going to walk you through my thought process as I develop a central question for a study. This way, you can follow along and develop your questions for your study. Please let me know if this video has been helpful by liking it. Subscribe to be notified when new videos are released. YouTube lets you choose if you want occasional or all notifications if you click on the little bell beside the subscribe button. If there is anything I can help you with, please let me know in the comments below.